You may have wondered how to customize your terminal colors and custom prompts. Well, I told you that I use Hyper and the Cobalt 2 theme, but there's actually another piece of the puzzle I'll show you. If you're new to the Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're just getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I'm gonna help you level up and get to where you wanna be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Git is a big part of development because it's one way that developers are able to work together. If you're not sure what Git is, why you would want to use it, how to use it, how to even install it on your computer, check out some of the other videos in my series, link in the card above. If you're using the terminal for a Mac, sorry PC users, right out of the box you may have wondered why my terminal looks different than yours. Yes, I'm using Hyper and yes, I have the Cobalt 2 theme installed, but I'm also using Oh My ZSH. Uh, this is why I can see the current branch name on the command prompt and why it will color code the lines for me based on whether I have uncommitted changes or not. If you want to install oh my ZSH on your computer, uh, go to their website, link in the description below. On the home page, scroll down and you'll see a command to run inside the terminal. Typically when you see command prompts online, they start with this dollar sign. Don't copy the dollar sign. It's just there to show you the start of a new line. Copy and paste this into the terminal and hit enter. I already have it set up, so I'm not gonna hit enter. You'll probably need to restart your terminal in order for the changes to take an effect. Once everything comes back up, your screen might look like this. We need to make sure that we have the right fonts installed in order to see the symbols in the command prompt correctly. I'm using Meslo Dotted on GitHub. There's an entire repository with tons of great monospace fonts. I'll include a link in the description below. Meslo Dotted is on there and I'll include a link to that specific font as well. But go there and download the font. I use a program called Suitcase to manage all my fonts. As a designer, I have a lot. But if you're on a Mac, it ships with a program called Fontbook that allows you to install new fonts. Now, don't worry, it's pretty easy. Once you've downloaded the font, double click on the font you want to add, or you can click and drag an entire folder over to Fontbook. I'll include a link to Apple's documentation in the description below. Now, if you restart Hyper or the terminal that you're using, you should see the symbols loaded in. If not, within Hyper, you can go to Preferences. This will open up hyper.js where you can modify all your settings and preferences. On line 16, you'll notice there's a line for font family. Mine says Meslo LGMDZ for Powerline, which is the font that I pointed out earlier. Menlo is the backup font it will go to if Meslo, the first font, isn't available. If Menlo isn't available, it will keep going down the list and you get the idea. While you're here, you can also modify the font weight and the line height, all kinds of stuff. I'll include a link in the description below to my hyper.js file as a GitHub gist if you want to check it out. Awesome, one more piece. The power of, <laughs> <laughs> uh, of oh my ZSH is the plugins. If you go to your home directory, you should have a ZSH RC file. Because that file starts with a period, you won't be able to get to that file through the finder, but you can get to it through the terminal. So uh, pull up hyper and type CD. This stands for change directory. If you don't include anything at the end, it will take you to your home directory no matter where you are. I'm gonna type ls and hit enter. This will list all the contents of the directory you're currently in. The zshrc file isn't there and that's because it starts with a period. It's considered a hidden file. So let's run the ls command again, but this time include a flag. So I'm gonna type dash a. Now you'll see that the zshrc file is there. Let's open it with the Vim editor. This is the same editor in the terminal we've been using to modify our commits. At the top, there's a line for themes. There are plenty to pick from. I'll include a link in the description below. So I'll show you how to change it to Robbie Russell, which is the first theme listed on this wiki page. Since I'm in Vim, I'm gonna use my arrow keys to move my cursor down to the line. And I'm gonna type DW for delete word. And then I'm gonna type I to go into insert mode. You'll notice that it says insert in the bottom left. I'm gonna type Robbie Russell. And then I'm gonna hit the escape key, hit the escape key. And then I'm gonna type WQ for save and quit. I can either restart the terminal and see the effects or I can type source tilde slash 
ZSHRC. Okay, you'll notice that the output looks a little bit different. As I've said before, my favorite is the Cobalt 2 theme. So I'll pull this theme up in GitHub. I'll include a link in the description below. If we look at the README file, you'll notice that there are a few more steps. You actually need to download the project. Uh, so if we come up here and click download, then it says to drop the Cobalt 2 ZSH theme into our themes directory. This might be a little confusing because the Oh My ZHS folder starts with a period, so you won't be able to get to it through the finder. Nevertheless, I have a solution. Within hyper type open tilde slash Oh My ZSH slash themes. You'll notice the finder pops up open to that folder. Now we can drag and drop the file that we downloaded. So let's go back to the ZSHRC file. I'm just gonna hit the up arrow a couple times and you'll notice that it cycles through the commands that I've listed. Hit enter. Now we wanna change Robbie Russell to Cobalt2, the same commands as before. So I'm gonna type DW to delete the word, I to go into insert mode, Cobalt2, escape, colon WQ, enter. Now I'm gonna hit the up arrow a couple times to get back to that source line and hit enter. Sweet. If you go back to the Cobalt 2 README, you'll notice that there's also some information there about installing fonts. Feel free to follow those directions, but if you're using Hyper, you don't need to go past step three. Those instructions are only if you wanna use iTerm2, which is a great alternative. Let's pull up the ZSHRC file one more time. So I'm gonna hit the up arrow a couple times. Go down towards the bottom of the file. You'll see a section about plugins. There's a whole slew of plugins you can install. On the Oh My ZSH website, click on their link for GitHub. Then click on Wiki. You'll see a link in the sidebar for plugins overview and plugins. This lists out all the options that you can include. You'll just need to add the plugins you want to use to the list in the ZHSRC file. I'll include a link in the description below that you can go through. If you look at my ZHSRC file, you'll see that I'm using get. Let's pull up that documentation. Here you can see all the aliases. Instead of typing get add, I can just type GA space period or if you come down here, I can type GL instead of git pull. There are tons of options here. So let's go back to our ZHSRC file. Before we move on, I want to point out the Z plugin. This isn't related specifically to Git, but it is one of my favorite features in Oh My ZHS. After you've used the tool for a while, it will keep track of your history and all the folders that you frequent. I'm gonna open a new tab in Hyper so you can see this in action. I'm gonna type Z0013 tab and the path gets filled in automatically even though 0013 is in the middle of the path name. This makes jumping around to folders in the terminal so much easier. Let's go back to our RC file and here at the bottom are our aliases. These are like custom shortcuts. So you'll see at the top, I have one for the ZSHRC file. Honestly, I have trouble remembering what this config file is named and where it is on my machine. I have this shortcut set up so that I just type ZSH config and it will run this line and open the file for me. I also have one set up for Hyper's config file too. This one, a few lines down, will navigate to my projects folder wherever I am. These are easy to set up. You just use the word alias followed by whatever keyword you wanna use equals quote, and then inside the quotes, type the command you wanna run. Okay, so let's give this a save. So escape colon WQ and enter. Done. There aren't any code snippets for this video, but I've included tons of links in the description below. Be sure to check it out. If you like this video and wanna see more videos on web design and development, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon if you wanna receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.